but we got some demos for us here. John, yep. I'm looking at the I know, the clock. we're looking at the time. Anything. Like I say, we could go on all night. So what we've done is I've got, in fact, if we can go ahead and focus the camera over here on. You need me to turn on this, this the rig speakers. we got? Yep. Got go ahead and turn this on. We're going to go ahead display. and fire some things up, and let's play some things and do some sweeps. So I'm going to have Ken go ahead and start the sweep right now, and we're going to be quiet and watch the graph. And we'll go ahead and let this play through a couple times just to make sure we get a good average. All right. All right, can you go ahead and stop that? So what we have here on the screen, this is the response of the small sealed enclosure. If you notice, it's rolling off. If we do the calculator, roughly 12 dB per octave. It actually has a little bit of rise all the way through, you know, up to 200 hertz or so. Actually, this is, I got this cut down to 80 hertz, so a little bit of a bump here, a higher frequency. But it's a pretty smooth, flat response. So let's go ahead and take this response, and I'm going to erase all the other settings, and I'm going to store this in memory number four. So that is going to be the small sealed enclosure. Now, what I'm going to do is what we talked about with this other enclosure, I'm going to plug up the port on the porter box, and it's going to become a large sealed enclosure. Now, I think if you guys watched last week, you heard me talk about, I used to do that in one of my cars. I would have a box that was ported when I really wanted to jam, when I wanted sound quality, I'd plug the port up. So we're going to do the same sweep again, and this time we're going to have a large sealed enclosure, which is 1.25 cubic foot. So go ahead and start your sweep there, Ken. I already noticed it's playing a little deeper. Yep. All right, so go ahead and stop that, Ken. Let's go ahead and we're going to store this in number three. So now I can go back here and I can show you the differences in the enclosures. So if you notice, the yellow is the large sealed enclosure. The gold color is going to be the small sealed enclosure. Now, ignore this anomaly up here where that little bump was. That's actually when the software turns on, it's got a little glitch. But it's got a pretty, pretty flat response. But I can literally see the difference between the large seal enclosure and the small sealed enclosure. In fact, you know, you got you know, roughly about you know, a dB or two difference here in the low frequency response. But the up, upper, upper frequency response is pretty much the same. So let's go to the next type of enclosure. Let's go to the small ported enclosure, to which we're going to pull that port out. I'm going to get back here on the computer, and I'm going to say, Ken, go ahead and start the sweep. He played low. Yes, sir. Now, if you notice, like I say, it didn't play quite as loud, that, that big rise at the It's just a glitch with the software when it starts. And even if I delete the software, we'll let it run through one more time. Oh, it is. It's right where you it's start. It's right where I started Here, every I'll time. stop. Clear it and do it one more time. Ready? Hit it. That should help it a little bit. There we go. It is an odd glitch, but yeah, it works better there. So this isn't, you know, absolutely you know, ruler scientific, but it, it gives you, you know, a pretty good response to well, what's going on. We're using the same software, same microphone, same subwoofer, so it's yep. all 10-inch comp bar subwoofers. So let's go ahead and store so, that in number two. So now I can go back here with the graph, and I can see the difference between... So way more output. There's your small low. sealed enclosure, and look at the difference in output here. I mean, you're talking you know, 8, 9 dB difference in output. And this is down, well, tell you exactly, 31 hertz.